Hey Alexis. Mr. Lewis would like to see you in his office. Now what? Come in. Hi Mr. Lewis, you called for me? Yes, have a seat. Did I do something wrong? As you know, we have a strict policy about tardiness, and according to our record, it shows you've already been late five times so far this year. Sir, you know I catch the bus, I can't help that the bus is late. I understand. We've tried to be as lenient as possible with you, but we cannot let this continue. If we let you continue to arrive late to work, next thing you know, everyone will start showing up late and will be using every excuse in the book. It's very important that people follow the rules. But sir... I'm sorry Alexis. But unfortunately we have to let you go. Please pack up your things and see yourself out. But sir you can't fire me. I'm sorry, I wish I had better news for you. You performed well at our company. I wish you all the best. I can't believe this happened. What am I supposed to do now? How am I going to explain to my landlord that I was fired from my job? Why do bad things keep happening to me? First my boyfriend and I break up and now this? I'm so tired of living like this. Maybe it's time I take matters into my own hands. I'm tired of waiting on God. I'm going to find a way to take control and get what I want. I wonder what's on TV. Welcome back to the show everybody. I have a special guest with us. Please put your hands together to welcome Mr. Want More Greedy Man. Thanks for having me. Of course. How have you been? I've been great. Just came back from vacation in the Bahamas and stayed at the finest resort of course. You're always going on lavish trips and parties. Everyone here wants to know, how do you do it? We all know you started from nothing. That's right. Just three years ago I was homeless with no money, and a guy approached me one day, and told me the reason why I'm suffering, is because of my thoughts. Wow, that's pretty deep. My mind was blown. So I asked him what do I do? And he told me, if you want to be rich, you have to believe it and it will manifest. Start thinking positively and the universe will make it happen. But here's the catch, if you think negatively, the universe will make that happen as well. You definitely don't want that. Exactly. And that's what people don't understand. The power is in you. You are the one who's in control of your life. Your life is the direct result of what you've been thinking. If you want that job, manifest it. If you want that car or a spouse, manifest it. Anything you want you can have and the universe will obey. I have a vision board of all the things I want hanging in my office. What's a vision board? A vision board are pictures of anything that you want to have. Just focus on those things, and watch it happen. Ever since I learned this, I start off every morning with positive affirmations. Really? What do you say? I simply tell myself, I am successful, I am powerful, I am confident, I am rich. Things of that sort. Matter of fact, I want everyone in the audience to repeat after me. Wow. This guy is amazing. Hello Alexis, I'm stopping by to collect the rent. I'm sorry I don't have it right now. I was just fired from my job. Can you give me a little more time? I don't want to hear your excuses. You have two weeks to pay me $1,050. Otherwise you will be evicted. What am I going to do now? I want everyone to listen to me. If you feel like you're tired of being poor and you're ready for a change, I want you to call the number on the screen and me and my team will mentor you and teach you how to get fantastic results. I promise, your life will never be the same. Yes, this is finally my answer. Today is a brand new day. Now that I have my vision board on the wall, Things will start changing for the better. I just have to stay positive and the universe will give me what I want. But what should I test this on first? My mentor said, start with something small. I know. A cup of coffee. Today, someone will give me a cup of coffee. Hi Alexis, I'm so sorry to hear what happened. I overheard the landlord talking to you last night. Yeah. I only have 10 days to pay him. He's just a meanie. 
I never did like him. I'm so sorry dear, I wish there was some way I could help. But I'm short on money as it is, and only get so much from my assistance. It's okay, I understand. Thank you though. Why don't you come inside my apartment, and we can have a cup of coffee and discuss this matter more. Okay, thank you. Wow, I can't believe it. It really worked. I got a cup of coffee. But what if that was just a coincidence? I have to try something else. I know, a muffin. Today someone will give me a blueberry muffin. I guess I'll just sit here and wait until someone comes. In the meantime, I'll visualize receiving a blueberry muffin. I can't believe I've been sitting here for three hours waiting for a stupid muffin. This was a complete waste of time. Maybe this doesn't work after all. Hey Alexis, what's wrong? You've been sitting in my coffee shop for three hours, and you haven't purchased anything. Is everything alright? I'm okay, I'm just going through a really hard time right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell you what. Why don't you treat yourself to a nice, warm, freshly baked blueberry muffin? It's on the house. Really? Thank you. It worked. It really worked. Anything that I want I can truly have, and the universe will grant it to me. Alright, enough small fries. Now it's time to get serious. Look at this dump. I'm so tired of being poor. I expect the universe will give me a high paying job soon. Thank you universe for giving me a job. I am so grateful. I will keep claiming this, until I get it. Hey Alexis. How have you been? I've been okay, still looking for another job. I still can't believe Mr. Lewis fired you. You were one of the best employees there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do now. You know what, my friend Lauren might still have an opening at her company. I'll call her and see if you can work there. Really? Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Of course. Hello? Hey. It's Jada. I'm wondering if the marketing coordinator position is still available? I have a friend who is interested in applying. Yes it is. Tell her to send over her information. Great, thanks. She wants you to send over your resume. Great. Thank you so much. Where are you heading off to? I was just walking to the store to pick up a few things. I can give you a ride if you want. Thanks. I'm not going to worry. I'm only going to think positively. I know the universe is going to make Jada's friend call me if I only think positive thoughts. She will like me and won't hold it against me that I was fired. The universe will give me this interview. I'm going to repeat this until it happens. She will like me, the universe will give me this interview. She will like me, the universe will give me this interview. She will. Hello? Hi Alexis, this is Lauren. You were highly recommended by Jada and I wanted to let you know I reviewed your resume and would love to invite you for an interview. When are you free? I'm available tomorrow. How about we meet at 9 a.m.? Sounds great. I look forward to meeting with you then. I was really hoping I would have heard from Lauren by now. Waiting is the worst part because it leaves so much time to do what I'm not supposed to do. I don't want to give in to fear. I'd better call my mentor to help me stay on track. Hello. Hi Julia, it's Alexis. Do you have a moment? Sure. How are things going? Um, I'm not sure. I mean I think things are going okay, I guess I'm just a little nervous. A little nervous about what? What's going on? Well, as you know I lost my job, and I just had an interview this morning, thanks to the universe. I'm waiting to hear if I got the job, and so many negative thoughts are trying to flood my mind. I guess I called you for a little encouragement. What should I do to keep my mind in a positive place? First off, thank you for calling me. I'm always happy to assist anyone who needs encouragement and direction. So, let me ask you a couple of questions. Did you say your mantras while looking in the mirror this morning? Yes I did, and I spent time looking at my vision board too. 
Am I doing the right things? Those are the right things to do, and I'm glad to hear you are doing them. You see one of the most important ways to get the results you want, is to fill your mind with thoughts of what you want, and just as importantly, imagine yourself receiving those things. So here's what I want you to do next, get a pen and paper and write down your interview experience, and every detail that you can remember. Next, I want you to write yourself receiving the job offer, and then write down what you'll say when it's offered to you. Visualization is key. Okay, I'll do that right now. Thank you so much for helping me. You're very welcome, and I expect to get a text when you receive the offer. I'm going to get started right away. I'll remember and write down my interview, then I'll visualize getting the offer and accepting the job and write that down too. This really is like creating my own destiny. Hello? Hi Alexis. I'm glad I was able to reach you. I want to extend an offer to you for the marketing coordinator position. Your skills are top notch, and I really think you're the right person for our team. Yes. I accept your offer. This is wonderful. Just to confirm, I'll start Monday correct? Yes. Monday at 8. You're coming in at the perfect time. We've just started working on a new marketing campaign for a large real estate company, so I'm looking forward to some great ideas from you. Have a good weekend and I'll see you Monday. Yes. I love my new job. It's the perfect position with the perfect salary and it's so much closer to home. Now all I need is the universe to give me a man. I can't wait to go home and list his description on my vision board and see how fast the universe brings him to me. He's got to be handsome, I don't want to waste my time manifesting a guy who isn't attractive. And he has to have a great sense of humor and be a good listener too. Universe, are you listening? This guy has to be very successful and make everyone jealous. Now back to looks, I'm crazy about goatees, light eyes and a flashy smile. Oh, and a shaved head would be perfect. Time to put this on my vision board. Hi Lauren. I forgot to ask you yesterday, where are we in the pay cycle? I may have forgotten to tell you. We get paid on the 15th and 30th of each month. I know that can be a little difficult to manage when you first start, so we offer new employees a cash advance to make things easier. Wow, I really appreciate that, thank you. I can't believe the universe has given me exactly $1,050. Now I can pay my rent. This is great. I wish I knew about the law of attraction a long time ago. Wow. He's so hot. He has light eyes, a goatee, and a shaved head. That's my guy. Alexis, do you have the money you owe me? Yes, I do. All of it? Yes. Good. Wow. I never knew life could be so stress-free. Thank you, universe. Now, I'm going to focus on that good-looking guy at work. I'm going to visualize him talking to me, and us having lunch together, and him asking me out on our first date. Hi, I'm Jordan. You must be the new marketing coordinator. Hi, I'm Alexis. Yes. I'm the new marketing coordinator. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here and I'm enjoying my work. What department are you in? I'm a senior advertising executive. Since our departments work so closely together, we might have the chance to collaborate. There are a lot of opportunities here, so I hope you'll stay for a while. Well, I've got to get back to work. I hope I'll be seeing you soon. Absolutely. It was nice to meet you, Jordan. Wow, this law of attraction is working so well, it's like magic. I have to tell my best friend Allison about this. Hey Allison. Hey Alexis. It's good to see you. What's new? I have exciting news. I started doing the law of attraction and now I have a new job, plus they gave me a cash advance and I was able to pay my rent. You mean the job and the rent money all happened just like that? Yes. I could hardly believe it myself. And now that I see it works, 
I'm going to level up and get a new apartment and maybe even a man too. Seriously? You think it would work for an apartment? Of course it will. It's like magic. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into this. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just staying positive and focusing on what you want. What's the name of this practice again? It's called the Law of Attraction. It better not conflict with God's laws. You know what? There is a seminar coming up in three weeks. You should come with me and see what it's all about. There will be really nice people there who can help you get started. I'm so glad you came to the seminar with me. Once you start this, you won't believe how fast it works. You might even be able to manifest something today. Welcome friends. My name is Julia. It's so nice to see so many people who want to take control of their destinies and achieve fulfillment in their lives. Today, you'll see how the Law of Attraction will teach you how to get everything you desire. It did for me, and I promise it will for you too. Now, I'd like to introduce Mr. One More Greedy Man, who's been an active practitioner for three years and is a master manifester. Listen closely, as he reveals the secrets of the Law of Attraction. Greeting ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy you're here, because I want you to see for yourselves how successful I have been since I've started using the Law of Attraction. Just three years ago I was very poor, had lost my job, and was homeless. Until, I learned how to use the universe to fulfill my desires. But there are certain rules you must obey, like being grateful. Gratitude is important, and so are positive thoughts, and having laser focus on your desires. Those are some important factors you'll need to become very comfortable with. They are needed to bend the universe to your will. And why would the universe bend to your will? Because you are God in a physical body, and the universe just wants to share its abundance with you. I'm so impressed with Mr. Want More Greedy Man. To think he went from poverty to millions. I feel so energized right now I feel I can do anything. So, what do you want to manifest first? Thanks for inviting me to the seminar. It was very informative. I'm glad I went because what I heard is exactly the same as what I read about. Really? You've been reading about the law of attraction? What did you learn? Oh I've learned a whole lot. We should sit down, we need to have a serious discussion about this. Now. I want to first look at things from God's point of view. I agree. What God says is the final word. Did you notice the law of attraction is all about materialism and selfish desires? Yes, we all need money to function in this world, but there is so much emphasis on money and pleasures and no emphasis on our Creator or praise to God. I know, it gives credit to the universe. But the universe is not God. The universe was created by God. We see that in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it states he created the heavens and the earth. But isn't saying the universe, basically the same as saying God? Oh no. In the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25, it states they exchanged the truth about God for a lie, and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator, who is forever praised. That's what you are doing when you call upon, and thank the universe. You are glorifying the universe. I know you remember Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8. Yes, that's where God says he will not give his glory to another. Wait a minute, you write, every time I got what I wanted, I thanked and gave glory to the universe. Exactly, and what are we instructed to do when we need something? Take it to God in prayer. Exactly. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. But I have prayed and prayed to God and it seems like He doesn't hear me. I know it can seem that way sometimes. But we have to remember God is not some genie in the sky just waiting to fulfill our wishes. God is our Father and He wants the best for us, and sometimes the answer is no, or not now, because we need to mature, develop patience, and exercise faith. You know Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, And it is impossible to please God without faith. 
Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So by turning to the universe, I showed I didn't have faith in him, and I should have spent my time diligently seeking the Lord. How in the world did I get so far off track? The enemy makes it easy to do, that's for sure. The law of attraction has its followers focus on gratitude and positive thoughts. There's nothing wrong with thinking positively. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 tells us to think things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says we are to make our request to God with thanksgiving, so there is nothing wrong with gratitude. But just like he did in Eden, the enemy is using God's words and instruction to deceive and twist things, and he is still doing it today. This is why it is critical to know God's word, because the enemy does. That's why we can't live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. That's the truth. Do you think the enemy knows Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says no one can serve two masters? Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Oh course he does. How about 1 John chapter 2 verse 16 which says, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father but from the world. Oh wow! That's what the law of attraction is all about, lusting after bigger houses, more expensive cars, more lavish vacations and more money. Everything your eyes can lust after is what it is all about. And let me tell you something else the enemy knows, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 37 states clearly, who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? You mean, all of the affirmations and positive things I've said weren't making the universe bring me things? No. Then how did I get them? I'll tell you, but brace yourself, because the part of the law of attraction that they didn't tell you is creepy. I have a feeling this is going to be bad. But I want to know what I've been practicing. There is a continuous theme that is always being presented to man in one form or philosophy throughout the ages. This theme got its start in heaven when who was once a beautiful angel. Isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 through 17 tell us, the enemy desired to elevate himself above God and make himself like the Most High. This is one of the identifying characteristics of demonic teachings. It tells you something that is not of our Heavenly Father, the Most High God. Anytime any teaching or belief says that you can be like God or that you are God, you know where it comes from. Being like God or being God is straight out of the enemy's daily planner. That's his desire and he hasn't given up trying to convince humanity of his lie. To do this, he gives people whatever they want, and often deceives them into thinking they aren't doing anything wrong. Or worse yet, what they are doing is good and beneficial, like the law of attraction. Now, think about this, do you know what the words wicker and wicked have in common? No, I don't. Wicker and wicked are from the same root word, meaning weak, easily twisted or bent. The enemy starts with a measure of truth and then twists it to fit his agenda, and then turn people away from God. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. The law of attraction has been around for centuries. However, its teachings gained a lot of popularity dating back to the start of the 19th century. There have been many authors over time who have admitted the information was given to them by unseen spirits. One teacher was a spirit medium and an occultist. What? How did you find this out? All you have to do is look it up online, Law of Attraction from Non-Physical Entities, and you'll see the information. It's no secret. Wait. Did you say occultist and non-physical entities? Oh no. I've been following instructions from them. You mean, this is how I've gotten money, my job, a boyfriend and this new apartment? I can't hardly believe it. What have I done? I noticed how excited you were at the seminar and I don't think you heard or fully understood what Mr. Wantmore Greedy Men said about why the universe fulfills your desires. He said that it is because you are God, in a physical body. 
I don't remember hearing that at all. I guess I was so focused on what I wanted, and that I am the creator of my life that I didn't catch that part. Wow. I had no idea the law of attraction teaches we are God. That's crazy and very clearly a teaching that goes against what the Most High has told us in his word the Bible. That's what it's all about, the enemy will say and do anything to turn humanity from the only true God and our Savior Jesus Christ. There is an account in the book of Acts, where Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, calls out a sorcerer, he said in the 13th chapter, verse 10 You are a child of the devil and an enemy of everything that is right. You are full of all kinds of deceit and trickery. Will you never stop perverting the right ways of the Lord? Wow, I can see clearly now. I was seduced by material things and how easy it was to get them. It's not easy to wait on God and trust that he will bless us with the things we need. Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 through 33 states, And if God cares so wonderfully for wild flowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. There is so much emphasis put on material gain in this world. Actually, it's what worldly people live for, no matter how they get it. But Jesus told us do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 through 20. Now I understand, I wasn't doing that at all. Instead, I was disobedient and put another God before my father. Allison will you pray for me? I have a lot of repenting to do. Of course I will. We have to look out for one another and encourage one another, especially in these difficult times. I love you sis, and I'm here to help you in any way I can. Remember James chapter 4 verse 7 says submit yourselves, then, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I have to get going, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of love and undeserved kindness to ask your forgiveness for my foolishness. I have lacked faith in you and your promises. I have become selfish and idolatrous in pursuit of material gain, and I have glorified the creation, rather than you, the Creator. Lord, I turn to the enemy to provide for my needs and have relied on him when I should have been relying on you. Please forgive my disobedience and spiritual immaturity. Father, I repent for embracing unclean spirits and my lack of faith. For it is written, without faith it is impossible to please you. I will burn the vision board, and all materials relating to the law of attraction which was handed down by demons. I pray you help me to cultivate patience, and to put my energy into diligently seeking you Father. Lord, I pray for restoration in my relationship with you, and bless you for showing me the dangerous condition I was in and coming to my rescue. I pray for the return of your Holy Son, Jesus, my Savior, and the day when he destroys all wickedness. Then, all praise, all glory and all devotion will belong to you. In the name and authority of Jesus Christ, Amen.